Hello, welcome, lovely new home. This beautiful day, sunshine outside, even it's cold. However, the real estate market is not as cold as we thought. This weekend, I just finished my open house. We have over 50 group of buyers show up in four hours. Can you imagine how busy these days? Many activities going on every day. Today, I'm happy to share with you one of the important topic, real estate investment because we have four type of real estate investment. The first one is resale. Basically, the investors buy some properties from resale market, keep it and rent out for cash flow each month, but ideally for looking for potential appreciation down the road. The second type is buy land to build pre-construction apartment or house custom built depends on how big team you have with your builder team financial team engineer team connect with the city for permit inspections fire department for permit the third one is flip investors buy a buy shape called so that this or need some tlc properties to renovate from top to bottom make profit in three to four months, then sold for profit. The last one, number fourth, is investor buy property direct from builder for pre-con. If you buy builder close like three years around for apartment, then you have two choices. The first one, you can close with the builder after closing, you do the same like resale for the profit, uh, for the cash flow monthly and the potential uh, appreciation in the future. The second option for the pre com investors, you can sell the assignment. Basically, you say the contract paper to assignee before close with the builder, then you make a profit in that short period of time. Today, my focus to share with you is the first one, resale market investment. Basically, these days we have experienced downward from last March till right now, seven times Bank of Canada increased interest. But however, many educated buyers and investors are smiling and happier because they are willing and happy to pay higher interest rate by correct and compensated back from correct market for the good deal on the price. From right side, you can say in the past 40 years from 1980 to 2022 last years, the average real estate price have experienced roller coaster like up, down, the average price change is 6.7% yearly. However, today I'm going to show how the resale investors make money by on my left side, say this draft, you can see the horizontal one is timing. The vertical one is income for profit. Basically with the time going by, the value and the income appreciation goes up, the expense goes up, averagely goes up, but sometimes mostly I can do the calculation for you. Instead of going up, the expense come down. I will show you how the room between the income and the expense like this part, can this part, I'm showing the show now this part of the room with the highlighted is your profit. The longer time you hold the potential, more profit you will have. I'm gonna show you the detailed calculation from this spreadsheet I did based on the example of purchase of 600,000 properties at the year one with annual appreciation instead of 6.7%, I just put more conservatively with 3% only. With the 20% down 120, 
mortgage amount four hundred eighty. The equity on year one, of course, just your down payment one hundred twenty. The same time I did it, put on the monthly expense and the annual expense gain or loss based on this one. Monthly expense including the the first the most is mortgage expense based on the five years interest rate with two years term with 30 years amortization these days calculate. So the property tax based on like 3000 divided 12 monthly cost, home insurance 120, vacancy cost because investors are always looking for, I would say one month to lex tenants. That is a cost, vacancy cost as well, but the utility usually you don't have to worry about it because you need utility costs uh, covered by the tenants. The maintenance cost every month, you give $100. The total cost is a $3,200 a year one. Unfortunately, a year one, you have to experience around 700 loss each month because the rental income for this size, 600 investment, I would say probably rental income around uh, 2,500 only. So a year one you experience loss, 8,500 total one year. However, I don't want to make you cry. Instead, I want to make you smile on year 10 because a year 10 based on three years amortization, uh, three years compound appreciation the value will come 800. The executive position will become 416,000 because the mortgage will come down to 389,000. The same calculation based on this one, the difference is you can see the notes increase from here. I calculate based on the property tax every year increase 3%, home insurance increase 2%, Vacancy costs increase 2%. The maintenance of inflation from labors 5% every year up. So based on this, more expenses calculation out, they annually, based on this one, uh, you will get uh, 6,900 every year. The return, annual return, not 10 years, is 30% a year 10. A year 20, the property value over 1 million, same like uh, based on the 3% compound appreciation, the same calculation with it, like a three years, uh, like a 3% of property tax increase, home insurance 2%, vacancy 2%, the maintenance 5%, the rental market, I would say increase 4% up every year. Based on this calculation, you will get 85% increase annually a year 20. Can you imagine this type of investment? 85% yearly returns. It's not that bad. So that's why these days, many investors jump in for good deal, particularly these days, the correct market offers so many opportunities, give you big, profit room down the road. So if you are think of anything or your friends, your family, your corporation have medium plan, short term plan, long term plan, just reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you better. Thank you for watching. See you next time.